Hi guys, my name is Igor and welcome to my makerspace. In today's video I'm going to show you 10 of my favorite tools I use for 3D printing. I will start off with hairspray and glue stick. I use those materials to make sure my prints stick well to the print bed. Usually I print on a gloss tile or a mirror and uh, using a bit of glue stick or hairspray works really well. Another nice tool to have is a set of tweezers. I use tweezers a lot while starting a print to pick off strings of plastic or filament, especially close to the nozzle where it's really hot. After printing, I remove the prints from my print bed with a scraper or a paint or palette knife in which the scraper is a bit more harsh to get the print of the bed and the palette knife is kind of gentle. After finishing a print, especially with prints that need support, I use some flush cutters or snips, whatever you would like to call them, to cut away the support material. I really like those uh, yeah, snips, flush cutters, to get uh, rid of the material. It's, they come in really handy. For other pieces of plastic or, or pieces that I can get with the uh, flush cutters, I use an exacto knife or a utility knife, uh, also for brims or other pieces of plastic you don't want on your prints. Uh, you can uh, cut them off gently, uh, watch out not to cut yourself, of course. Another nice thing to have is a set of files. I use those especially for parts that need to fit really well or where you need to get a bit of material off to make them fit. When printing with PETG, but also with PLA, you get some stringing sometimes. Most of the time this is because your retraction settings are not perfectly dialed in. There's quite an easy fix for this and that's using a heat gun or a small torch to burn away the small strings of filaments you don't want on your 3D print. Uh, watch out, do it in short moments only, like a few seconds, otherwise you'll burn your 3D print. If you want to 3D model or if you want to calibrate your machine, some calipers come in really handy. Especially when you want to design something that fits really nicely in or around something. You can take a precise measurement to design something on that specific size. To avoid getting moisture in my filament, I store my filament in Ziploc bags. I get those Ziploc bags at IKEA, they are quite cheap. I'll show you a screenshot. Those Ziploc bags fit exactly around the spool of filament. And when your 3D printer gets broken, fix it with Allen keys. A 3D printer has mostly Allen keys, or at least my 3D printers, so get a lot of Allen keys. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to keep on making. Bye.